In this video, I wanna take you through how target-based bidding strategies in Google Ads work. And the reason for why this is so important is because if you've set your target ROAS or your target CPA bidding strategy incorrectly in Google Ads, that bidding strategy could have the complete opposite effect of what you're trying to achieve in that the target that you have set could be acting like a break where it's limiting the results that you're seeing in Google Ads as opposed to it being designed like you've added it to be an accelerator to increase the amount of revenue or conversions that you're getting in your Google Ads campaign. And the biggest thing that you need to really understand when it comes to Google Ads bidding strategies and one of the biggest mistakes that I see is that people set the target ROAS or the target CPA for what they want to achieve rather than setting it on the actual results that you're seeing in your campaign right now. And that is a really, really important difference because target-based bidding strategies aren't set up to be like a magical wish that you want Google Ads to achieve. It just functions off the data that you've got in your account right now. So for example, if you wanna see a ROAS of 700% in your Google Ads campaigns, it's not just as easy as setting your target ROAS at 700% if your campaign is only currently seeing a ROAS of 300%. It's just not gonna work. Because when you set a target ROAS or a target CPA, you are saying to Google, hey Google, you can spend my daily budget as long as you think you can achieve the targeted results that are given you. So this is where it becomes important Important that if it's not set correctly, you can actually see a lower revenue and lower conversions coming into your account. Right now, let's jump into a screen share so I can show you a perfect example of this happening. Now, the account that I'm showing you is for a, an account that we reviewed and the problem that the owner of this account gave us was that their concern was is that they were seeing a drop off in spend and also in the total conversion value. And they even confirmed with us that they had been increasing the budget. So you can see through here, they continued to increase the budget and even with increasing their budget, they weren't seeing any increased spend and they continued to see this drop off in revenue or the total conversion value. And when we went through and did the review of this campaign, we actually saw that the problem was is that they had a mismatch in their target roles versus what they were actually seeing in their account. So if we were to bring this out through here, you can see the actual roles was up and then it was kind of going down. And you can see that they had their target role set at 800%. But if you look through here, this blue line, the actual roles was at 540. 328, 216, 141. They did see a couple of big spikes, which kind of tainted the numbers. And then once again, that actual ROAS went down. So it was very, very quite often throughout those all of those weeks that the actual ROAS was a quite a lot lower than the actual target ROAS. The biggest effect that this was happening is that when you can see the clicks through here, is that they were seeing a reduction in their clicks, which was having the total effect on actually seeing a reduction in their total conversion value. So I'm just gonna switch this over to daily just so we can have a look at this last little bit in here. And you can actually see that when we made a change to this target ROAS and brought it down from 500 down to 400, we straight away saw these clicks return, which then also saw this conversion value you also return and also an increased backup in the actual ROAS. So we're gonna be continuing to monitor this campaign because what we do wanna see is make sure that when we go back to weekly, so I can show you here, that these clicks and conversions also continue to increase. But you can see how we were able to build that in just by reviewing their target ROAS and making that change to drop that target ROAS lower. When it comes to setting a target ROAS or a target CPA, into your Google Ads campaigns, you need to remember these guidelines. And the first one is, is that you don't wanna to rush to add in a targeted bidding strategy. As a rule, I will generally wait at least three months from starting a campaign before I even think about adding in a target ROAS or a target CPA. And the reason for that is because we know that with conversion data, it reaches back 90 days, but it also puts more focus on the previous 30 days. So what we wanna do is we wanna allow a full cycle to go through so that Google has the most data that it can use so that we can set that target bidding strategy correctly. And the second guideline that you need to follow when it comes to setting a target ROAS or a target CPA is that you wanna see a stabilization of your conversion metrics. So what I mean by that is that you don't want to see just a massive spike one week and then your ROAS drop down. So you don't want to see like a 4,000% ROAS one week and then down to 100%, then down to 200%, then down to 300%, and then the week after that back up to 1,000%. Your results are too unstable. What you want to be seeing before you add in a target ROAS or a target CPA is you want to see 
quite a fairly flat line. So for example, with um, target ROAS, you may wanna see your actual ROAS of 500 one week, then up to 520, maybe down to 490, and then back up to 515 the next week. If you're seeing that data, that lets you know that you could add in a target rise of somewhere around that 480 to 500%. And then the third guideline is that you wanna make sure that you are setting that target ROAS just slightly behind the current results you're seeing right now. So what I mean by that, if you are setting a target ROAS, and over the previous four weeks, your actual ROAS has been in that range between sort of 500 through to 570 or 580, I'd be setting that target ROAS a little bit behind, being at around about 525 or 530. Or if you're gonna introduce a target cost per conversion or a target CPA, as we call it, and you had regularly seen a target CPA over the previous four weeks ranging between 50 to $55, I'd be setting that target CPA at $60. And the reason for why you want to set that target as a little bit behind what you're actually seeing is because you don't wanna get into the situation like that example, like that campaign I showed you before, where you're limiting the traffic that is coming into your account so much that it actually affects the total outreach, the total spend of your account, and also the total conversion value. And time and time again, I've always found that targeted bidding strategies always perform better when they're in that ROAS sense, when they're a little bit behind, a little bit lower than the ROAS, or if you're using that target CPA, they're a little bit higher than the actual results. Thank you for joining me, and I hope that's given you some extra clarity when it comes to setting your targeted bidding strategies. Now, I will admit that when it comes to setting your targeted bidding strategies correctly in Google Ads, it is quite a complex subject, and that's why I released an extended teaching on how to review and set your bidding strategies correct for your Google Ads campaigns. This was an extended masterclass that I shared inside of my paid Google Ads community, and if you'd like free access to that training, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below, and it will take you through to a page so that you can go through and watch that extended training on Google Ads bidding strategies. Thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young. I'm from Define Digital Academy. And if you would like to stay on YouTube and you'd like to learn more about how to optimize your search campaigns, because that is also another part of how you see success in Google Ads, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Or if you'd like to see how I optimize my Performance Max campaigns, go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thanks for joining me. See you next time.